Hello everyone, my name is Julia Bird and I'm a STEM ambassador for the West Tennessee STEM Hub. Today I will be teaching you how to extract DNA from a strawberry. So let's jump on in. So what you will need to do this experiment are a strawberry or a banana, rubbing alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol or ethanol, dish soap, salt, wooden skewers, a sandwich bag, and measuring utensils such as a teaspoon and a tablespoon. You will also need scissors, tape, a funnel, and two bowls. So what is DNA? DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and it is our genetic code. It serves as a blueprint for all of our cells. It's the reason we look the way we do, the reason that we have a certain eye color, a certain hair color, a certain skin color. And it also tells our cells how to function, such as those in our digestive system. DNA is made of uh, nucleic acids. And if you look on the right, uh, there's actually a diagram for what DNA looks like. It looks like a twisted ladder that is known as a double helix. And in between, you can see these bars of different colors, adenine, thymine, cy cytosine, and guanine. And those are actually those nucleic acids. Uh, nucleic acids code for amino acids, and amino acids are the building blocks for proteins. So let's go ahead and jump right on into our experiment. Okay, so what you will want to do first is you will want to stick your um, rubbing alcohol in the freezer to chill. I would recommend leaving it in there for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, but I'm actually going to go ahead and grab mine now. Okay, so I'm back with my rubbing alcohol, so I'm actually going to set it out to the side. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leaves off of my strawberry. We're going to lay those over here to the side. Okay, our leaves are off of our strawberry. Now we're going to put this to the side. And what I want you to do is to take a small bowl or a small cup and we're gonna measure out some dish soap and some salt. This mixture is gonna help the membranes of our cells rupture so that we can get our DNA out. So go ahead and grab your tablespoon. Looks like one TBSP. We're gonna measure out one tablespoon of dish soap. We're gonna pour it on in. Okay. And then what I want you to do is to grab your salt. You're going to take three pinches of salt. Just like this. Just take a small amount between your fingers. That's one. Two. Three. Okay. Grab one of your wooden skewers. And you're just gonna mix the salt in with your dish soap. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we are going to put our dish soap over here to the side. And now I want you to take your strawberry and put it in your plastic sandwich bag. like this, push all the air out, and then mash it really well. You wanna break up as many chunks as you can. You're gonna want it to look like a smoothie. Okay, for the most part, we have our big chunks broken up. I feel one pretty big one here. Okay, amazing. So now, I'm just gonna shove it to the bottom here. 
You can see we have plenty of strawberry juice. Maybe we want to break it up even finer. Okay. Oh, big chunk. We're going to want to break up these big chunks so that we can squeeze it out of our bag later. Okay, so now we have our strawberry puree here. So I want you to go ahead and open your baggie. Take your dish soap and then, sorry, your dish soap salt mixture. And I want you to grab a teaspoon. Here it should say one TSP. And you're gonna wanna put two teaspoons into your strawberry puree bag. So let's see, we have one. And two. Okay, perfect. So push the air out of your bag again, close it up. All right, and what you should do now is you should just mix the soap and the salt in with your strawberry chunks. There's no um, perfect way to do this, but just try to get it all in there if you can. You're gonna wanna see those bubbles in with your strawberry mix, kind of like this. Okay, that looks pretty mixed up to me. So now what you're going to want to do is set it off to the side like this. And you're going to want to grab another bowl. Let's see, this one has our soap mixture in it. So put it off to the side. And then here we have a clean bowl. So what you want to do is take your funnel and put it in here. I made my own funnel because I actually didn't have one in my kitchen. So I just took a red Solo cup I cut a slit down the side, cut the bottom out, and then scrunched it up like a funnel. And then I tape the sides to keep it in this shape. So I'm just gonna put this in our clean bowl and I'm going to grab a paper towel. My paper towel here is pretty big, so I'm going to actually cut it in half. I'm gonna put the other half off to the side because we actually don't really need it. Then here, I am going to put this into the funnel and this is gonna serve as a filter. Our goal here is going to be to separate our big chunks of strawberry from the juice because the juice is what we're gonna to use to actually extract our DNA. Because like we said, we didn't really want big chunks of cells. Okay. So now to make things easier, this isn't a necessary step, but I'm actually going to go ahead and tape my paper towel to my funnel. Or really just tape it really well on there so I don't have to hold it. If you don't have tape on you, that is absolutely okay. You would just have to hold the paper towel on like so. If you guys can see, I actually made a little dip just so it'll be easier to actually hold my strawberry. Okay, and now comes the most tedious part. This part requires a little bit of attention. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our strawberry bag and you can see it kind of looks like uh, when I guess pastry chefs make icing or they uh, go to pipe the icing onto a cake. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a very, very, very small hole in this bag. I mean, I don't know if you can even see the tip, but very small. We'll cut it off like that. And now you're going to want to slowly, slowly, slowly put your strawberry and the juice onto your funnel.
Okay. To make this process go a little bit quicker, you can tap your funnel down so that those juices really come through your filter. Let's see. Be careful not to make your funnel so full that the strawberry juice actually flows over. And what you can do is gravity is actually what is pulling these juices down. So you can let your funnel sit for a few minutes, probably like five to 10. Like I said, to make it go a little bit faster, what you can do is tap that funnel on the bottom of your bowl, like so. And some juices should start running. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to leave my funnel like so for, like I said, five to 10 minutes. And then I'll check back in with you whenever we have some liquid here in our bowl. Okay, everyone, I'm back. It's been about five minutes. And as you can see, I have lots of strawberry juice here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this strawberry mush in the funnel into another bowl to handle later. And now we're gonna to get to focus on our juice. So what I want you to do now is pick up that tablespoon. And I want you to take your isopropyl alcohol out of the freezer and then go ahead and put two tablespoons into your strawberry mix. Okay, put that off to the side. So now you're going to either take your skewer from earlier or a new one. And I want you to mix it all up. Okay, go on ahead and pull your stick out. And now you should see a translucent jelly. And this right here is going to be your DNA. So you'll notice that it doesn't look like a double helix, does it? Well, that's because it is so, so small. You need um, a microscope to be able to see that super tiny, tiny structure. So here, if you look really, really closely, you can see all these really long strands. And those long strands will be your DNA. Pretty cool, huh? This is what makes the strawberry a strawberry. Well, all right, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this activity. Um, let us know if it works for you. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.